Make-A-Wish sent Lizzie Sutter and her family to the Bahamas for a very sharky adventure. Lizzie's dream of becoming a marine biologist became a reality as she spent a week visiting the island of Bimini and the world-renowned Bimini Biological Field Station. The Bimini Sands Resort and Marina graciously provided a luxury oceanfront condo for the family to call home. The Sands continuously supports the conservation work done for the sharks and the oceans within the Bahamas. The Shark Lab was started by Dr. Samuel Gruber as a base for his pioneering work with lemon sharks. The island is home to a diverse variety of sharks and provides an ideal location for research, diving, and filming. The lab stands as one of the top research stations in the world and continuously provides groundbreaking information about these amazing animals. wasted no time in getting involved as she ventured to the shark pen with Doc. Juvenile lemon sharks are kept in the pen for research as well as shark handling class for the new volunteers. They remain in the pen for a few weeks before being released at the exact spot they were caught. Once in the pen, Doc explained the anatomy of a shark and how they have evolved to be an apex predator and important part of the food chain. Doc then demonstrated tonic immobility by flipping a juvenile lemon shark on its back. Tonic immobility overstimulates the shark's senses, putting the shark in a sleep-like state. This characteristic is believed to be an element of mating behavior. The Sutter family then headed back to the lab where manager Sean Williams briefed them on the upcoming Caribbean reef shark dive. This was Lizzie's chance to slip in the water and encounter these amazing animals up close and in action. Big shark.
This is so cool. I, that was the first time I've ever been surrounded by sharks, actually, and seeing them in the wild. It was just, it's not an aquarium experience. <laughs> it's so much cooler. <laughs> After the dive, Lizzie was able to assist in tagging a large tiger shark caught on a scientific longline. The lab does monthly longline surveys to assess the species diversity of the region and to help in understanding their seasonal movements around the island. The workups are done quickly and efficiently to decrease the stress on the animal. Each shark's length is measured, the sex is determined, a DNA sample is taken, the shark is tagged, the hook is removed, and the animal is released. Tagging these animals is crucial to gain a better understanding, thus maximizing the success of conservation efforts. <laughs> so I got to put my arms in and keep it steady and take the DNA sample and put the tag in. It was just it's awesome. It was a busy week, but Lizzie was a star. The entire lab staff, Bimini Sands, and crew felt blessed to share this amazing experience. Thank you to Make-A-Wish for making this dream a reality. No doubt that Lizzie will not only be a marine biologist, but a lifetime advocate for sharks.